your girl is looking like a snack. Thing don't work for me. I just want a body. Bad, 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 bad body. A girl who can walk up she body. guys welcome back to my channel hope everyone's well hope everyone's safe so today I'm gonna to be filming this makeup look using some new products that I've never tried before products I've always wanted to try so let me know in the comment section if you guys have ever used any of the products let me know what you guys think and let me know if you will be trying out any of these products after watching my video so let's get into the video so to prime my eyes today, I'm going to be using my P. Louise base. I finally decided to buy it. This is actually going to be my first time trying this product, but I just love the packaging. I think it is so cute, just so pretty. So I'm going to take the product out and just show you the good stuff. So the shade I got is Rumor 3 and I bought this based on YouTube videos that I've watched. So I'm hoping that it's not too light and it's also not too dark for me. I also got this Acid Rain brush set from P. Louise as well. It was a um, package deal so I got the, the base and the brushes I think for £20. So I think that was quite a good offer. And I needed some new brushes as well to add to my collection. Look at the packaging guys, like it is so cute. Like I feel like they put a lot of detail into their packaging. So you just pull this out and then you have your brushes. So there are three brushes. I think one is a concealer brush and then we've got an angled brush and an eyeliner brush. So I'm gonna be using the concealer brush that came in the set to apply my base today. So like I said, this is my first time using it, but from the videos I watch, it does recommend that you pat it in rather than trying to like swipe. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I think the color would work. Yeah. I finished priming my eyelids with my P. Louise base. I'm going to be using my Doll Beauty Peaches and Pop Tarts eyeshadow palette. Guys, this eyeshadow palette is so beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the packaging just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This is the palette, guys. Just look at the just look at it it's just so pretty i love the fact that it's a heart shape as well look at these gorgeous colors guys i feel like it's so bright it's so vibrant it's it's exactly what you need for summer the palette also comes with two pigment from their um collection so floss and sorbet and they're so pretty one's a bronze color and the other one's a um, pinkish pigment but this this palette is just beautiful. I'm feeling something bright. I think I'm gonna play with the purples and pink. I don't think I've ever done a purple look. So yes, I'm definitely gonna be playing with the purples today. What I'm gonna go into is Cheeky Vimto. I'm just gonna place that all over my crease and then we'll we'll take it from there. This palette is very pigmented. I'm really liking it so far so i'm just building up that purple shade so to blend out the shade cheeky vimto i'm gonna go into the shade bubba this one here and just use that to blend out the edges so what i'm doing is i'm just placing that shade down and now i'm just gonna go in and just blend it out so as you can see here, I decided to change the blending brush I was using just because the other one wasn't as fluffy and smooth as this one. I'm just adding more of that purple shade just because I feel like I lost a bit of it when I blended it out with that pink shade. So I just want to intensify it a bit more. I want to use the pigment in the shade Sorbet and this is the pink colored pigment so pretty so i'm gonna put that on my lid so the lashes i'm wearing are from beauty palace and they're in the style hottie so the next new product i'm gonna be going in with is the morphe foundation primer and it's in equalizer and it says here that it blurs and softens imperfections instantly makes skin feel smooth and it's free of oil and parabens so that's really good because I have oily skin. So it's just clear like most primers. Let me just apply it to the face. 
Oh, it feels very nice on the skin. Very smooth. Oh, I like that. I'm just trying to see if it has a smell. I think it has like a slight smell but so i'm going to be mixing my foundation today i'm going to be using my nars um all day luminous weightless foundation in tahoe i'm going to mix that with my revolution conceal and define in 12.5 you guys already know the deal guys i'm so late i'm meant to be at a barbecue right now i said i was gonna leave my house at four <laughs> it's now 6 30 and i'm still here getting ready but it's it's fine anyways it's black people timing so it's not a problem i'm gonna be going in with my Too faced born this way concealer and this is in the shade warm sand i'm just gonna let that concealer dry down a bit and then i'm gonna go in and add my nyx can't stop won't stop concealer in the shade beige just in my um inner corner just to brighten it up a bit but because this is matte i'm just gonna wait for this to dry down a bit first before applying now i'm just setting my under eyes using my laura mercier powder So to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using my Morphe Filter Effect Finishing Powder and this is in Filter 7. This is also a new product. I've never tried a Morphe um, powder before. But I've heard good things. So just your typical compact powder mirror set. It also have an underneath where you can put your sponge but it didn't come with a sponge which is very strange but i don't use it anyway so it's fine guys when i was buying this powder online i was so scared because i thought the shade wasn't gonna be my my shade but it's actually fine it matches me so to bronze my face today i'm gonna be using my makeup revolution splendor ultra matte bronzer and this is in the shade medium guys look at the packaging it's so cute i don't know if you can see it there but it says glow but i just think that this is just so cute so this is what the color looks like um like i said i got in the shade medium oh my god that smells lush i can definitely smell coconut it's definitely giving me tropical holiday vibes I'm very excited to try this product. I've heard so many good things about it and you know the shade range in this is like insane. Like they have some really beautiful deep dark colours. Guys it is so pigmented. Oh my god you literally only need a little bit. So I'm just gonna buff this into my skin. I'm just going to go in with my foundation brush and just blend it out a bit more just because it's looking very muddy and I do not like that. I think I might get the shade light just because in the winter I feel like this might be a bit too dark for me but I'll see see how I feel. I'm going to be using my Morphe Warm Blush Palette today and I think I'm going to be going in with the shade witty and babe just to add some color to my cheeks i'm actually going to add a bit of the shade provocative as well so for highlighter today i'm going to be using my artist couture diamond glow powder in gold digger i'm just going to use what is in the cap just because this is so pigmented so now that my face is finished, I'm just going to go in and line my um, bottom waterline with the colours that I use um, on my lids. But first I'm going to set my face using my e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist. I'm going to set my face again, but I'm going to be using my Morphe Mattifying continuous setting mist and this is the matte version so this is new i haven't used this before i really like the original setting spray like i feel like it helps my makeup to just just sink into my skin and look less powdery so i hope that this has the same effect but it's matte guys this smell so good so 
it's giving me like a tropical smell i'm just here for all these tropical smell like i'm loving it with most matte setting spray i always have to like pat it into my skin like that left a lot of like white stuff this is the part that i've been waiting for so i also purchased the molten body glow from makeup revolution and i think this is in the the shade gold and i also bought the brush like in the summertime i love a good body neck highlighter like i just love for my neck to be glistening put some there and let's use the brush to blend it in what is this oh it has the same sort of coconut smell oh look at that oh that is beautiful okay i think i put too much on but it's cute or whatever so guys this is the finished look i just added some gloss just to make the look pop you know you can't have a finished look without some gloss but Thank you so much for watching guys. Make sure you click that like button and make sure you subscribe so you don't ever miss an upload. And until next time, stay safe out here in these streets. Bye.